Hello there, Mark here. Welcome to the 81st installment of my 7-inch single series. I have some very nice jazz titles to share with you. I've uh, purchased these over the last week or so. Uh, received a great price on all of the albums. I know there's been a lot of talk uh, in regards to how expensive vinyl collecting has become, and I'm not disputing that, but if, if you can wait a little while, if you're creative um, and you're shopping, you can, you can score some great deals, whether it be waiting uh, for a local sale at uh, an independent record store or going the Amazon route. I like to go to flea markets, uh, state sales, garage sales, etc. Anyway, I'm going to start out with $2 records. I went to a local library branch that has a used bookshop in the library. And they sell, obviously, used books, discarded books, CDs, DVDs. Uh, they had two crates of records, and I found, uh, excuse me, I found these two fantastic titles. First one is a 2LP set by Stanley Turrentine. Fantastic, and this is part of the Blue Note reissue series. And they skatefold. Some Great, great uh, music on this on this set. Uh, Better luck next time. That's an Irving uh, Berlin track. I love that. Uh, you have a Count Basie number, one o'clock jump. Classic. Both LPs were in pristine condition. Still have the original sleeves. And uh, just look at how clean the vinyl is. Second title was a, a, C, a CTI release, CTI Summer Jazz at the Hollywood Bowl. It's the, uh, the third installment. Again, very nice gatefold. Have some great players on, on this album. Of course, Ron Carter, Jack DeChanette, just a fantastic drummer. Uh, Freddie Hubbard, Joe Farrell, Hubert Laws. Stanley uh, Turrentine is on this as well. I cleaned and played this title. It's fantastic. I stopped off at a local mall with a friend. She had some shopping to do. I made my way to FYI for your entertainment, uh, which I, I usually avoid like the plague. Their prices are horrendous. I just can't imagine... Uh, a young person having the means to shop there or willing to pay those prices. I would say the demographic of that store is probably, I would say, teenager through through someone in their 20s. It's just ridiculous. They had two bins of clearance items. I found uh, two Blue Note Tone Poets. They were marked at $20 each. I took them up to the register. Uh, the lady at the register started going off about, you know, if you sign up for this, that, the other thing, you'll get another 10%. I wish I had that time back. So at the end of the day, I paid $18 each for the records. I do have an earlier pressing of this, but this is just a beautiful presentation. I love how they've included these iconic photos. This is Horace Silver. Further Explorations by the Horace Silver Quintet. I played this. It sounds fantastic. Although I'm going to grab my uh, my earlier pressing uh, on melancholy mood. Um, Lewis Hayes, his brushes are so loud in the mix on on this uh, on this recording, and I know these were remastered. I <clears throat> excuse me. I I don't think these were remixed. So I'm going to play my my earlier pressing and see if it's something that I just really didn't take notice of in the past or if maybe when they EQ this album, uh, the higher frequencies are uh, more prevalent and, and you can hear those those strokes, but it seems to be a little over overwhelming, especially on that track. And then Donald Byrd, Chant. 
You have Art Pepper on this one. You have Herbie Hancock. Uh, Teddy Robinson on drums. I, I did some research. I cannot find any information on Teddy Robinson. I think this might have been his only Blue Note date. Uh, there's just no information on him, but he's a great player. Um, very powerful, uh, kind of in the vein of Art Blakey. Uh, so looking forward to cracking this one open. I, I own this as well. Uh, earlier pressing at that. And then I have, let's see, five OJC pressings to show you. Uh, again, I'm really bulking up my collection. I purchased all of these at $10 each. Very, very fair price. I'm not going to beat the price that I paid a couple weeks ago at the uh, at the flea market. I paid $2.50 for two, uh, two LPs. But this is pristine. I love this jacket. And we have a lot of West Coast jazz here. This is Shelly Mann and his men play Holman's Quartet, etc. Love the artwork. You have the OJC hype. It's just in pristine condition. And you have the Junior Mance Trio at the Village Vanguard. And the jacket and the vinyl are pretty much perfect. This is sweet. Eric Dolphy in Europe, Volume 3. And man, he cooks. You have one song on, on side B, In the Blues, one, two, three. These guys are on fire. This is excellent. Again, just in beautiful condition. We have a couple uh, Lighthouse recordings. Howard Rumsey's Lighthouse All-Stars, Volume 6. We have uh, Stan Levy on drums. Uh, Bob Cooper, ten, uh, tenor sax. Bud Schenk on alto. Played this. This was fantastic. And then another cover that I love. This is Lighthouse at Laguna. We have the Hampton Hawes Trio, we have Barney Kessel, and we have the Howard Rumsey's Light, uh, excuse me, Lighthouse All-Stars. Just a quick video. Hope you enjoyed seeing those titles. See you soon.